Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you 15 glitches working after patch as well as some new ones. And on top of that, I'm also going to be showing you what's patched as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's talk about some of the glitches that have been patched. The first one is pretty big because this one has to do with the tower boss glitch. Unfortunately, this does not work after the latest patch. Previously, all you had to do was gain a wanted level, then head over towards the tower boss area and let the NPC shoot the boss. At this point, the boss would go towards the corner, but now this does not work as I have stated. The developers themselves had made a post over on X stating this right here. As a result of various bugs that we fixed in most recent patch, a bug that allowed players to capture the tower boss was unintentionally fixed. We apologize for inadvertently fixing a bug. And if you're wondering, yeah, it's definitely 100% sarcasm. The glitch itself is for sure patched, but when it comes down to this post, the developers saying that they did not mean to, or whatever, they definitely did. It's just a uh, sarcasm and whatnot. Also, the second glitch that they had patched is going to be the unlimited timer. So you can no longer stop the timer and have as much time as you want in these towers when you do glide at the very last second. This has been patched and it no longer works. Alrighty, now that we have the patched glitches out of the way, what is one of the newest glitches that you can do right now? If you have the Lily Spear and then you decide to crouch and attack at the same time, you're going to see that you can double your attack and finish off these ores pretty quickly and grab the material. You can do this with a reinforced spear as well. And is it possible to use a lower level spear? You can, you absolutely can, but it just, it's not as effective as it is with the top two options there. Next, we're going to talk about the Butcher Glitch that does work after the latest patch. You can summon down your pal, use your meat cleaver, and butcher your pal. At this point, when it comes down to the last second, you're going to hop on top of your mount and you should see that you will receive some material. There is a chance that legendary schematics will drop when you do butcher a alpha pal. For example, right here, I'm going to try to butcher it so that I can receive a rocket. As you can tell on the left side, I received the rocket schematic, and you can receive this from this pal specifically. Just note that different pals will give you different schematics, and they absolutely have to be alpha pals in order for you to receive a schematic. Next up at number three and four, we're gonna talk about this glitch right here, which involves the tower boss. As you all know, the recent patch has officially patched the glitch with the tower boss, but there is something else that you can do. We first want to do the butcher glitch so that our pal will sink below the floor like so. Once you see this, you can go ahead and go inside the tower. You should see the boss fly straight ahead and go towards the front entrance. At least that's what I'm thinking it is. You can then throw down your pal, instantly hop on top of your pal, and you should see that you're going to then float up at the top when you get off of the pal. We are pretty much breaching through the barrier like so, and as I mentioned, when you get off, that should happen. When you throw your pal out of your party or drop the pal sphere, you should see that when you pick it back up and you hop on top of your mount, everything will go back to normal and you can fly your mount around like so. You can also attack the boss from the top here, which makes it extremely useful for taking out these bosses. I love how I use the word extreme, it's very useful I should say, very useful. But if you go ahead and travel outside of the bounds, then fly back towards the boss, you can actually freeze it all together. For example, right here. And you can tell it's not moving in the distance. So what I'll do now is just merge back into the boss room and right there and then you can tell that it's not attacking. I can shoot it, I can do whatever, and it's that easy. Next up at number five, we're gonna talk about a great way to acquire a lot of do re mi, aka money, as you all know, in the recent patch, they did fix the issue with the nails, at least to them it was an issue. Yet if you do not know, what they have done is so that you can no longer sell your nails at a higher price. It has now been lowered, but what you can do is head over towards a black market tier, lower down the health all the way until it's defeated, pick up the items, and then circle around. When you get back to the same exact location, you should see that the boss has reappeared. I call it a boss, but I guess it's more so just a random NPC, but the health on that dude is definitely boss tier level. Also not to mention, when it comes down to freezing the boss or stunning it so that it no longer moves, this does not work as well. I've tried it, for some reason I cannot get the boss to be in a frozen state, so what I had to do was just defeat it the good old normal way, use my pals, 
take it out and then circle around and then head back to the same exact location. And as you can tell, once I make my way back, you're going to see that it has respawned and I can take out the Black Marketeer once more and I do not need to leave the game and join back. We are now going to continue on and talk about glitch number six. This next one is going to involve a boss, rockets, and a pal that can freeze the boss. You're going to go up to one of the bosses on the map, freeze them, then use your rocket right afterwards. You should see that the boss will fly right up in the air, straight to outer space, and then eventually you should see it come right down and crash. You can do this with pretty much any boss except for the bosses that are a frozen or ice type. Moving on towards number seven, we are going to head towards a dungeon like so, go inside, and you're going to use your pal to breach through the wall. You can use the butcher method if you would like to, but there's also another method where you grip onto the wall, but you need to summon down your pal first. Grip onto the wall, choose the pet option, and you should merge through when you do mount on top of your pal. You can do this again so that you can breach through another layer if you need to. You can head towards the end here to reach the boss instantly, and you can actually go through the bottom here, or the top here, to reach the bottom. You should see this open hole. Most of the locations do have this spot on the top, if not all of them. Even the frozen locations should have this open hole, which you can also breach through using the same exact method as before. Just simply grip onto the wall and pet your pal. If you need to get through this second barrier here, you can use the same exact method, or you can just point the pal sphere down and throw it. Hop on top of your mount and you're officially through. Number eight, we're going to talk about another dungeon glitch, but this is for the bosses specifically. We want to enter inside the dungeon, summon down our pal, rip onto the wall, pet our pal, get on top of the mount, and then fly towards one of the walls that I'm going to be flying towards here in a second. You're going to use another pal so that you can lead that boss to the wall. You want to use a sword or possibly some sort of other melee option and start attacking the wall. You should see that you're attacking the target behind the wall, which will be the boss. If for whatever reason, when you do decide to attack and you see that the boss's health is not lowering, you can try to summon down another pal and see if that helps. At some point, you should see that you can attack the boss behind the wall. And right there and then, I finished off the boss and I can move on towards the next dungeon if I wish to do the same thing. If you have any questions about today's video or a previous glitch, go ahead and ask down below. I will try to respond back as soon as possible. We are going to continue on and talk about glitch number 9. If you're wondering, does the duplication glitch work after the latest patch? It absolutely does. It just requires timing again, and I'm sure some of you have been struggling with this in the past, and you might struggle still. But you will notice in this clip that it does work. I could, you know, craft it all the way if I want, and then throw down a different bench, but I'm going to basically just scrap it so that I can grab the material and have the extra material. Throw all of that into the next chest, and then you can rinse and repeat the same exact glitch. Alrighty, now coming up at number 10, we have the infinite XP glitch working after the latest patch. You're going to place down a foundation and a wall. You can place down another foundation right next to that foundation. Place down the wall, and then we're going to place down another foundation and a wall. We are now going to place down a rooftop on the bottom section here so that we can place the stairs. When you're on top of the rooftop, you should see that you cannot place the stairs, and this is because you're on the rooftop piece. Move away from it, then try to place it down. You're going to see a great example of this right here. So what I had to do was go towards the right, then place it down. We are now going to place down a rooftop piece, delete the bottom section here, and delete the other one. Place down a wall directly dead center, and you should see that it's going to use your material, but it will also give you some XP. You will notice that on the left, that I'm not receiving XP. This is because my pals are all at level 50. If I decide to throw on a pal that's level 15, level 14, or even level 5, you will see some XP gains. If you have a macro, you can actually do this AFK as long as you have a bunch of material to waste. But technically you're not wasting it since you can't pick it back up. Number 11, we're going to talk about this secret boss room. If you have not seen this, I have talked about it previously, just recently actually. You need to head over here towards Cinemoth Forest. Head towards the left wall here, or the left side of the wall here. Use the pet option, then hop on top of your mount. 
Do this again so you can get through the second layer. There might be a third one. You will not need to do this. You can actually just summon down your pal and you should merge through like so. And bam, go all the way down below and you should see an open space. You can build down here and this place is completely unraidable, raid free. Moving towards the next glitch at number 12. We are going to be using the Life Monk and we do want to have the saddle or the gloves for this. I cannot remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's the gloves. You're going to use the special ability or the partner ability. The pal is going to hop on top of your head. You can fire a shotgun bullet, then hold down the fire button and you should see that even though you're not firing any bullets out, your pal is still going to use its ability. If you happen to have a wounded pal, drop the pal so that the sphere is on the ground. Grab a pal and throw it in the party so that your pal is completely full. When you pick up that pal, it's going to instantly revive it. You can see the results when you go inside the pal box and you take a look, you should see that your pal is completely healed up. Number 14, if you travel towards the left side of the sealed lightning dragon point of interest, I think I kind of butchered it there. If you head towards the left side here, pet your pal, go through the first layer, the texture, use this again so that you go through the second one and there's going to be a third one just like previously. Now you're in another boss room that is unreleased. You can tell that this right here is supposed to be a location for a future boss or potentially maybe even for the Black Marketeer. This is another location where you can build inside and it's completely unraidable. And last but not least, we are at number 15. What you're going to do is summon down your pal, use the ability, and if you want to quickly refresh the ability, you just need to open up the menu party then remove the pal pick it back up when you check down below you should be able to use the ability once more this right here is pretty much the end of the video if you have any questions you can head over towards the twitter account post some questions there follow me do all that good stuff or you can head over towards the discord and join up there as well if i cannot respond to two of those definitely try to comment down below in this video thank you guys so much for the support and i will see you all in the next one